Now that we've looked at the geometry of the outline of a Crimines instrument and discussed briefly the importance of the arching, let's review exactly how this can be studied geometrically and brought into congruence with the rest of their system. I developed simple measuring uh, devices that would allow me to get the outer arch of an instrument with great accuracy and then subsequently measure the inside thickness of that arch so that putting the two together I could recreate the inside curvature from the outside so I didn't have to open the instrument to see what was going on. This is the back, this is the belly, little slits here for the F-holes in the drawing that I created. And you can see here initial efforts to find the uh, compass centers which would identify these arcs. Part of the problem with trying to work backward from existing violins to the way they were when they were created 300 years ago is that the wood is distorted. Sound post pressure, other damage builds up over time and causes the arch to uh, deform. In general, because of the post being on the treble side, that side will get higher and the base side will become flatter. If you want to find what the original arch was, you're going to have to correct that deformation. How do you do it? One way would be to find the arc of one half, the arc of the other half, different radii, find the midpoint between those two radii, and create a single arch that would be the literally the mean between them. Once you do that, you can start to put the thing together in, what should we call it, um, the functional way of the arch and explain why the inside is important and what you gain for it. By correcting the arch and then looking at the reflection of, of energy, this would be example where the sound post might be, anything reflected off this point is going to converge at the center of the opposite plate. So you can direct all of the physical energy of the waves back to a focal point, which in turn could increase the actual um, mechanical energy of the instrument. I believe that was the point of it. And by being able to use a compass and radius centers to find the focal point, it's like taking a magnifying glass and finding the focal point for the rays of the sun, which will cause something to actually burn if you get it exactly so. This is what's going on in the original arching of these instruments. And Instrument after instrument that I've studied, when I have made this correction, I discover that the sound waves will then focus either on the bridge feet or on the center of the back or both.